listen to here. I live in the greater Vancouver area of Canada and right on our doorstep is vast wilderness. Meaning you could go for a hike, you know, drive, drive an hour or sometimes less and you're on the edge of mountains that carry on for hundreds of miles. And this wilderness is of course lovely to explore many great hikes in the area and, and just a lot of wild areas to traverse. But it also can be kind of dangerous and people can go hiking and be separated from their party, you know, and in a matter of minutes um, find that they're lost and unable to be found again. Uh, there are, of course, good search and rescue that comes and looks for people and often people are found, but sometimes they're not. Sometimes uh, people can be there, there can be a search party looking for someone for weeks and the person is never found. So there's a few principles that we generally know here in this area in terms of wilderness. And one of those principles I have used uh, within my own life in terms of just my faith journey with the Lord, my ministry journey with uh, the work that I do, and then, and then as a leader. And one of those principles is, is that the minute you realize you're lost, you stop moving. So if I was in the wilderness and on a path or in the woods uh, and I realized I was lost, it is not a good idea to try harder, to walk faster, to try to circle around or retrace one's steps. That's usually when people become super lost, meaning they may never actually find their way out again. And they may even go so much off the track, so to speak, that they can't even be found by others. So. I use this principle in my own faith journey with the Lord. Uh, you know, I, in terms of the work I do and the way that we go about things, um, I work with pastors around the world and we're bringing leadership development and we're bringing these conversations about um, our hearts and our minds and our lives, inner healing and uh, uh, strength from the inside out and how do we walk alongside each other in ways that um, bears life and bears good fruit, those sorts of things. But all of this has always been really led by the Lord, led by the Holy Spirit. Um, the, I try um, very hard um, to have less and less of my own thinking in the mix, less and less of my own efforting in the mix. Uh, and so as a result, of course, um, the, the way I and CCI moves forward is this intuitive and intimate relationship with God in our own hearts and finding our way forward through an unfolding process. It's pretty cool. But we use this, I use this principle. Uh, the minute we realize we're not sure which way to go, we don't really have direction for the next step, this is not the time to apply more effort or to try harder or to walk faster that's actually the time to pause and to stop, to just stand still. Just as though I was in a forest of very large trees and could not see my way, I would just stop and I would wait. Uh, if I was in the forest, I would stop and I would wait because I would know that help was on the way, that there are search and rescue teams that would be deployed to find me. And that if I keep moving and get deeper and deeper into the woods, so to speak, or literally, I would have less of a chance of being rescued but that if I would stay put and stand still and just wait where I am, that again, I would most likely be found and would be rescued. And so even in an intuitive way of moving forward, um, a trusting way, a faith way, a place where we're waiting on direction or insight or wisdom from the Lord, uh, at those moments when we realize we don't know, don't know the way forward or have lost a sense of, again, what's next, uh, that's when we stop and we pause and we wait and because wisdom would be coming, clarity would be found. Uh, but these things of clarity and wisdom can't be found if we're thrashing and they can't be accessed if we're in fear or if we're um, sort of spiraled up into our own thinking and which is often a lot of thrashing and a lot of efforting and a lot of guessing 
and guesswork. You know, go this direction and go this direction and go that direction and let's see what works. And that never, not in those moments of um, unknown forward movement, those things don't work. They usually get us more lost and more confused and more stuck. So I pass on this principle today. I've been reminded of it because it's exactly where I am with, with my own work. Uh, had thought something was unfolding a certain way and it has not completely unfolded that way and so I'm pausing today from efforting and I'm stopping and I'm pausing and I'm waiting on the direction of the Lord and a sense of how to move forward and so I don't know what that is today but I can stay in the tension of unknowing and I can actually find rest in this spot so it's sort of like I've been in the uh, in the forest and I've been journeying along and all of a sudden I'm not sure which way the path goes and so I sit down and I take up my water and I lean myself up against a tree and I just pause because the things that are necessary to move forward will come my way if I just stop moving for the day or a couple days. So blessings on you today. I trust this may be of an encouragement and a help to you as well. This principle if you realize you're lost, you don't know which way forward, that's the time to stop and to stand still and to wait. Blessings. Blessings.